forward yet, right? But they have some time. That's right, Mark and Aaron. They have 180 days, so around six months. Now, we don't know exactly who the winner is yet, but a lot of people I met today saying they are excited for them, also excited for the store, saying it couldn't have happened at a better place. Do you, do you buy the tic lotto tickets? Sometimes, didn't buy it this time. Bob Leonard owns what he calls a nostalgia store. Seems like yesterday, a couple doors down from one stop on Main Street. Inside one stop, you can see signs showing they printed off some winners before. But they've now gotten an even bigger sign after printing off a winning $183 million Powerball jackpot winner. The store will get $100,000 because of that. Yeah, but they're great guys that own the store. Uh, everybody goes there, to, you know, it's like a family atmosphere. Regulars go in every day, and it's, you know, it's, it's wicked exciting, you know, right here in Cheshire. Who would have thought? The winner can get their winnings in a few ways, either in a lump sum payment, in 30 yearly payments, or in cash. For this jackpot, the cash out is around $122 million. So, you know, you, you don't get these that often, and when you do, you got to celebrate them. This jackpot win comes as the Connecticut Lottery celebrates its 50th anniversary. It's the second highest lottery win in the state's history, and the winner has until August 13th to claim the prize. Like all lottery prizes, the any unclaimed prize money reverts back to the states or, or multiple states in this example because all the states that uh, sell lottery participate in Powerball. So each would get their share back. We hope that never happens. Now to give you an idea of how hard this was to win, Powerball says it's a 1 in 292.2 million chance to win this jackpot. By the way, this is not the only thing Connecticut players won last night. The lottery says someone won the Lucky for Life game. That is $25,000 a year for life. Live here in Cheshire, Dennis Valera, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.